a problem of ignorance. Today we will talk about some of the miracles of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah. Muhammad's only miracle was the Quran. Muhammad's only miracle was the Quran. Just to illustrate for you, how many are the miracles Imam al-Bayhaqi, who is one of the most important authorities in this regard, he says over 1,000 documented such miracles in the life and the sunnah of the Prophet Over 1,000 such incidents that we can find that are of a supernatural nature. Yeah. 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 And later on, Al Hafid ibn Hajar, who is the master of hadith, nobody can compete with Al Hafid ibn Hajar. Al Hafid ibn Hajar, he quotes Imam al Nawawi, and we all know Imam al Nawawi as well, as saying that there are authentically narrated more than 1,200 miracles from our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. More than 1,200 miracles from our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad's only miracle was the Quran. That is a problem of ignorance. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the authenticated miracles of the Prophet Muhammad. I mean, of course, the greatest miracle that was given to the Prophet Muhammad was the Quran. But there are many authenticated miracles, and it is not often known and mentioned, that were done through the Prophet Muhammad by the power of God. Um, Muslims have caught me saying this a number of times, and that, that's that's fine because I really do believe this. I think if we took a a if we gave a test to the majority of evangelicals coming out of church this coming Sunday morning on the doctrine of the Trinity, less than half would pass. In fact, I, mm -hmm. I would say we'd have a seventy five percent failure rate. Yeah, and probably the majority would test modalistic. Now, that is a problem of ignorance. It's a